last episode we saw that customer has been deleted from the database but not from this list it was removed from the grid when i did refresh from the browser this is an issue this list should be refreshed at once the customer deleted i built this list using two components and they are nested fix this issue i need to pass the notification from child component to parent in this episode i will discuss how we can pass a notification from child component to parent to pass notification from child component you first need to define event callback delegates inside the child component this display customer is a child component so let's define event call callback delegates and you also need to add an attribute of this delegate parameter so that parent can pass a method to this delegate and visibility of this delegate must be public second you need to define the method in the parent component this is the parent component here i am adding a method private parent i'm reload as i want to refresh customer grid inside this method i am calling the customers get api again to reload the data here and the same task the third step uh, you need to assign this reload method to the event callback delegate inside this reserve file here the delegates defined in the uh, child component its name is on delete so let's copy it and paste here and assign to the method i already defined in this file this is the reload method the fourth and final step you need to trigger this on delete event i can trigger this event inside the child component this is the child component i'll add the triggering code here as because this on handle delete method is the event handler of delete button on delete in vacancy okay if i recap this when user clicks delete button this on handle delete event handler method will be executed so this method first deletes the customer from the database by calling customer delete api and then it will trigger this on delete delegates by calling invoke async as i assign this on delete delegate to the reload method this reload method will be executed here is the definition of reload method uh it again call the customer get api to read the data from the database and, and reassign to this customer's variable in this case a recent deleted customer will not be there for two a data binding customer list will be re rendered with new data okay let's see in browser okay let's click the delete button
So here we can see the data has been deleted from the database as well as it removes from this list. This event callback is weakly typed and allows passing any type argument uh, in invoke async like I can pass a customer ID and save. Here we can see it is getting an error. Uh, it's getting error because uh, the delegate signature is not same as the signature of this method. It should be same. Let's change this signature. So I am to add a parameter here. Customer ID. I am adding object here because this is the weekly typed and this inbox async can accept object type argument. And inside here, I have to write a lambda expression to pass the customer ID to the reload method here. So we can write customer ID. Oh, sorry, the person should be here. Now there is no error. So now this method can accept the customer ID. We also can use the generic delegate like this. In this case, the type is integer, so I can change it to the integer because the method signature should be same to the delegate signature. Uh, we also can change the logic of reload method. Here I can use the customers. Yeah, let's save. Let's run the application again. Okay, let's click the delete button. Here we can see the customer ID in the reload method. It has been passed from the child component to parent successfully. Click continue and see there is no customer data. Thank you.